Who's down here? You're looking around corners. You're peeking around edges. What's your name? I get the fucking heebie-jeebies down here. You're probably wondering what I saw. So I'll show you and tell you. Here's a drawing from my psychic medium journal. In this book, I keep illustrations of the majority of the spirits that I've seen. And this situation was special. I'll read to you what's here. I had completed the medium walk of the other three floors and made my way to the basement. Once down in the back center area, I began to feel very creeped out. I sat for a moment in the back half where I began to see an energy form in my mind. It would peek from one side and then the next through a brick wall. I was very uncomfortable and creeped out for the rest of the night. I strongly felt it had no good intentions and was curious as to who I was. I may have experienced it in the attic. I feel like there's something approaching me from behind. Something creepy too. What are you? You're about yay tall. You're not very tall, like there, you're about that tall. <coughs> I felt uncomfortable going back down into the basement by myself and wouldn't. We found out that it was also active in the building next door, too. In the second page, I take more time to sort of detail what I saw. The basement entity, as I call it, which is a more accurate representation. It was skinny at the neck with elongated features. The vision was translucent, not opaque. I could see through it, but not completely. It moved with a sway in its motion. There was no break in its movement, and it would stare, then move. Energetically speaking, its vibration and appearance was completely different than the human spirits I had encountered. I legitimately felt creeped out by its presence. Now, in this upcoming video, some friends of mine, Dave Jones of Project Paranormal Investigations, Victor Peruta, the founder of the Victory of Light Psychic Festival, and Gary Fox, a psychic medium and my teacher, came to the site a few weeks earlier to do a psychic medium walk. What you'll see in this video is a detailed explanation of what Victor and Gary were feeling. Lucky me, I came a few weeks later and encountered it on my own. Who's just curious? This entity, this entity isn't curious. It, it just does its thing. It, it isn't really curious. It's more like it, it, when it stirs, it's disruptive. It makes noise. It, 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 it would make everybody feel very uncomfortable and very nervous. Uh, it's been around uh, here a long time. Uh, it, it sometimes does weird things. Like, uh, it almost seems mischievous. Like, it'll trip you, or it'll scare you, or it'll make these noises that scare you, or uh, it, and it, it just likes being disruptive. 
it's not good for people to be around this thing. You know what I mean? It, uh, I'm curious if the people with voices that we hear upstairs have any um, knowledge of the thing. Well, the guy upstairs told me he pretty much travels all three floors, but he doesn't go in the basement. He's afraid to get out of the basement. There's something down here that scares him. He will not go in the basement. And that's probably what I'm picking up on down here. That thing. That Remember thing. I said that? Like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's so, it. But when it, it's fine, it's, it's, everything's fine, but when it stirs, <laughs> when it gets stirred up, it'll manifest in weird ways, and it's not nice. It, it doesn't like people, it's, 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 it makes fun of them, it, it scares them, it's, it, it trips them, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's out of control. The spirits, the human spirits that are in here know what's in here. And uh, and it's almost like when it's dormant, it's almost like it recedes. It recedes into some place like maybe in the earth. But then when it comes up, all hell breaks loose and things rattle and... Is it on a, a specific time cycle or is it just whenever? It seems somewhat capricious. It doesn't have like a, a, a um, something has stirred it or pissed it off, or I don't or, think it's human. Uh, I, I I would think that when this thing's stirring or about to stir, I would think that the hair would stand up on the back of your neck. You know, you almost maybe feel like a charge in the air or something. And then it would kind of like a tornado. It would kind of move around. It would, it, and then and then it would uh, stop. And it would it would kind of like go back to rest. It's a weird thing. I don't know what this thing is. Is it a residual thing, or is it intelligent and still very much? This I don't think this is residual. I think I think it's. Uh, this isn't a, like something that used to be here and now it's not here anymore. Right. I think it's still here. It's you know, it's, 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 it's almost like, you know, in the stories where there's a dragon that lives in a cave underground and it's fine, but once in a while when it stirs, things happen. Right. You know, like, it's like a mythic thing. It's, it's not, it's, 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 I'm almost sure it's coming, it's... Well, we probably just stir it, it's just not... I would set up a camera in front of that pit right there. I swear I could still see movement there. Yeah, in, in the, in the pit. set yeah. something up in, in that... Uh, Aim it right towards that... To left of the water meter there, yeah. the electric meter there. Like, it, it's, it's, it's right in that area also. So I'll let you guys see the whole process here. How everything happened. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go in the basement real quick. Oh, uh, we shut the lights off down there. That's fine. I got my old timey high eight directly. Just so you know. Uh huh. Where you see those red lights straight ahead when you when you turn the corner. Do you got a light job? No, I'm good. You want one? I'll be good for now. I got the camera light. If you see the the red lights all the way at the end, there was, that's where the tunnel was buried. Okay. Oh yeah, watch your head, dude. I should probably get a light. <laughs> I have my cell phone light. Oh, we're in the basement. Sort of a morbid feel to this basement. I've been in a lot of basements. The feels, the feeling is not always morbid, but for some reason, there's something creepy down here, huh?
There is a tunnel. Dude. I cannot help but shake the feeling that there's something fucking creepy down here. Dude. I cannot help but shake the feeling that there's something fucking creepy down here. <laughs> Who's down here? You're looking around corners, you're peeking around edges. What's your name? I get the fucking heebie jeebies down here. Yeah, you want me to get Lori back down here? She'll tell me right where you're at. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully she could. Okay, I'm sure something. I didn't mind. She'll tell me right where you're at. Why won't you come over here and say something? Note to self, the area where I feel like the thing is like creeping around corners and looking. It's right in this area where I felt, felt I got a morbid feel to this basement. <laughs> this area. What is it about this fucking area? What are you? What was here in this little spot? What am I feeling right now? Okay, I'm not gonna do too, too much more of a walkthrough. When you say a storage basement. What do you mean by storage basement? All right. Whew, this basement is fucking creepy. Completely different feel up here. Completely different feel. And it's not just because the lights are on. It's, it's completely different up here. So here I was in this basement. Creeped out. I had spent all of my time in this home. The second floor of the attic. The first floor. And everything was normal. The most unusual thing that happened was that afternoon or that evening when night fell, the man on the second floor presented and he elongated and, and distorted his body. But that was it. But once I found myself in this basement, and this creepiness, this energy came over me, it wasn't just for the simple fact that I was in a creepy basement, no. The way I operate is I I feel energy from these things. And this thing presented to me like nothing I had encountered. It did not match the human spirits I encountered. It didn't match just really anything I had been put up against to that point. And so it overwhelmed me and it felt like time froze. And it got rid of me really quick. I'll be honest. I mean, I was down there for maybe 
five minutes, ten minutes tops, it got rid of me. It saw me up in the attic for a second. Probably understood that, you know, this guy's fresh. And I got in the basement and just like Victor and Gary said, you know, it makes it makes people uncomfortable. 